opportunity to welcome our brothers from Lagos State, Oyo State, Kwara State, and Kano uh, State to this New Year Summit. And let me welcome Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency to our mix. They are here to talk to our doctors. They are here to let us know the effect on the drug abuse. So you are welcome once again. Thank you so much. Good afternoon once again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is my singular honor to be here to witness the media edition of our student membership summit to review the talking to our younger ones of the need for them to appreciate their life, particularly as it relates to the use of drug substances. In the same vein, I will say a very big thank you to the organizer, the chief host. And by extension, everybody on the team, particularly members of the NDLE, for honoring this invitation. It means a lot to us. We thank you. Uh, we're looking forward to a robust relationship going forward. Um, it is stated that an idea is battered, and the ability to pursue it is what makes the difference. We thank you. We're looking forward to a very constructive, very deliberative, and very fruitful deliberation. Also, the lecture that you intend to give our younger ones today, we hope that to go a long way and to make you then realize uh, whatever uh, challenges or mistakes probably be making before now. We thank you for the opportunity. Once again, my name is Shelby Sama. I'm also a member of the Congress of I have the Regional Head of Ondo and Nikiti State. Thank you for your support. Very much, very moderator. I want to observe, well, I wouldn't know how to start with the protocol, but I just want to say that a protocol duly observed. And I want to give God the honor to be here. We thank God for bringing us safely here because I had that many people came all over the federation, far and near. We thank God for safety. We thank God for the life of the conveners, the sponsors. We thank God for the life of the youths. Uh, we thank God for the life of the moderators and uh, even we that were from NDLA. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us the opportunity to talk to youth. In NDLA, we have what we call WADA. WADA. War Against Drug Abuse. And when we talk about WADA, we're not talking about carrying guns. I'm still coming back to that. We're not carrying guns. All we are doing is to prevent. I want to know if you prevention is better than which is very truthful. I just want to say something before I start talking. Deep I mean, going into the topic of today. Two days ago, some students and the university coming from home, going back to school, father in the hospital, mother staying with the father in the hospital. But eventually went to visit the father to see how much, you know, is improving. I wouldn't know that. But as it was coming, we had our patrol officers, our patrol team officers on the road. But, um, if uh, 
Express. And fortunately, the vehicle was stopped. And you know, our officers have been trained for that. And immediately they sighted him. And when they checked his luggage, how many wraps? How many wraps? I think it's about 10 wraps. He told me 10 wraps of cannabis. The students in the university, the father in the hospital, the mother came in the hospital, and the parents didn't know that their son is with us in NDA. And it was to start an exam day before yesterday. Yesterday. Of course, it's a user. We have to let him go because we are parents too. And when he talked, you know, he got to the school 11.30 p.m. in the kitchen. I was monitoring until he got there. And I said, all right, finish your exam before we start the procedure for counseling and rehabilitation. NDNA is like a coin. Sir, I want to appreciate you, sir. I want to appreciate the conveners. I want to appreciate the originators of this program. And I want to appreciate those people that sponsored it. You wouldn't know what you are doing, sir. I know that when you know. But what I want to say is the breadth, the length of this program. Because you are investing into their future. Even though they have, all, they have age. They have age. But I'm going to let you know something today that we don't know. The best thing in life is to have somebody you can lean on. It might not be your father, it might not be your mom, it might not be your uncle, it might not be anybody, but every youth needs a shoulder to lean on. And when we're talking about leaning on, we're talking about having role models, people you can look on to, people you can familiarize yourself with, people you can go up to and say, mentor me. I told somebody, so many people, I, I think, I grew up people yesterday, that by the grace of God, and I keep on saying it, to let us know that we leaders play a role of good model. We have negative, we have positive. That we should play a role of good model to our youth because they are the future leaders of this nation, future leaders of our families, future leaders of our communities, future leaders of our society, future leaders of this nation and the world. Many of them can be sent to represent the nation. I said today. A woman that did not even know that she was my mentor made me, encouraged me, not by talking to me, but looking at her and letting her that one day I will be a doctor. She didn't know. I met her. She was my teacher in secondary school. She teaches biology. At that time, she was a doctor of philosophy. I'm talking about 1978. At that time, a woman was a doctor. 1978. Sir. Dr. Ogulade, now Professor Ogulade. She's retired. But because she was my biological teacher, and anytime she wants to introduce herself, she said, Dr. Yinka Ogulade. You know, I looked at her that at this era, I could only hear of men becoming doctors in the society that time. There were few women. And I made up my mind. And I said, one day, I'll be a doctor like this woman. And today, by the grace of God, I was telling somebody, I got my doctorate degree 14 years ago. 
by the grace of God, if not because of Professor Ogunade, I would have missed it in life because she was my role model. A secondary school teacher. So we are light to these children. We are light to them. They are not young, but they are children to us because we are older than them. The chairman chief executive, the time of Brigada, Marua Puba Marua, came up with a fantastic project. Why? I would like to know, and I would like to know, that there's something very unique about this man. Since the establishment of National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, under the decree number 48 of 29 December 1989, which involves interdiction, seizure, demand reduction. But something very unique about this man, he realized that without reduction, there will be, there will be no what? Without reduction, there will be continuous of what? Supply. He believed that if the agency could emphasize on reduction, and that is why my department is drug demand reduction, there will be less of supply. And that is advocacy. He came up with the advocacy of WADA. That we should go to primary school, secondary school, university, youth in school, youth out of school, to the society, to government organization, non-government organization, and begin to sensitize them about misuse, abuse, effects of drugs. By the grace of God upon my life, I've worked in NDLA. This year is going to be 34 years. Wow. So I'm not a baby, and I'm almost 60. I'm not a baby. By the grace of God, next year I'll be 60. Wow. So, what I'm saying is to let you know I'm a mother. To let you know I know what I'm saying. To let you know I've been equipped. To let you know that I've known the problem of youth. The family, we don't know. We are careless. The society, we have nonchalant attitude towards youth. The church, the mosque. No, the youths are nowhere to be found among them. Because we didn't give them a place of priority. We concentrate on the adults that are concentrating on the youth. Now, I want to say something for some time, so many years, the use of drug has been in existence and the immediate victims are the youth. The immediate victims of these ugly situations are what? Are the youth, who are the future leaders of this nation. And studies have shown that many of wanted behaviors among the youth, like cultism, like raping, kidnapping, yahoo plots, killing, criminal atrocities, were as a result of substance use abuse. For example, Last year, two secondary school SS2 students raped a girl 13 years from morning to night under the influence of cannabis. SS2 students. We have had our students in secondary school raped a copper, a female copper. So terrible in this social group. We've had a lot of atrocities that it has, it has become a menace, a serious one, that if time is not taken, they will be raping their mothers. 
because they are under the influence of what? Of course, we have had boys raping mothers. And when they come out of the influence of the drugs, we see them weeping because they were not aware when they did it. And they would deny they can do that. They thank God, the mom would say, He did it to me. Before anything else, let me tell you, youth, I understand you. Perfectly understand you. Because I have children that have been like this. I understand the youth a lot. And when we're talking about the use of drugs among the youth, don't stigmatize them. Sir. Don't blame them. Sir. Don't criticize them. Sir. Because if there is no reason, there will not be a cause. Now, it's like a jet 
clean. I wonder, I was with somebody, the boy, and the small girl two years was able to do the cross of uh, uh, the Kunamaki. The security, oh, they show up two years. Bad more. Who they show up by? Who they show up by? And she started laughing. That is, I have achieved my dream. And I told the boy, you don't need it. What about a woman that wants to deliver yours? That is so painful. With the woman go and use banner. When you cocaine and you run. Because she wants to deliver. Is he not going to her neighbor? You now realize that too. The pain of that woman is a single mother is old. You know, they need to understand some things. Because if you don't let them know, they don't. They are, they are, their own ways of thinking is different from us. Until you calm them down. Calm down. You have to tell them, calm down, calm down. Risk factors. They don't have adequate parental care. They lack love. And when this is happening, what do you expect from a child that grew up from hostile environment, abused environment? The father and mother, they don't care how he or she eats. A bear, a bear, but why yet? Within that bear, within more one of our parents, me. Shabo Sherini by him. No, 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 no. I was telling somebody that was speaking yesterday that when I wanted to go and serve a bochi from my door kitty to Bauchi, I paid 35 naira. 35 naira to enter bank. From Adoki to Bauchi. From Adoki to Bauchi now, it will be up to 50,000. 35 naira, sir. 35 naira. And we were, we were joined uh, Nigerian now with 20 naira rebates for children. Because I, I, I started up, I did my master's in UJ. So what am I saying? The society, the environment, they are all time for this use. Sergeant, so, please, I think we need to cover this place now. Because we have the people, the picture. The society are all tied to them. The society and the government have nothing to offer this youth. They are vulnerable. And that is why they look for enemies to survive. A child that is being spoken to, that is for now, why should go out and go and look for a job for yourself? Imbeciles, using negative words against them that are not even encouraging. So, what do you want them to do? When you put a lot of pressure on them, they too they have to look for the alternatives. And that is why they go into the use of software. You see that abusing or trafficking in it. Sometimes because of emotional, psychosocial stresses, such as frustration, anxiety, low income, economic depression, poverty. Poverty. Let me just create a scenario. She said, when my, my last baby is going back to school, she's riding up in the university. We have been giving him a particular amount of money. That now said, sit down. No, I want this. You know, things are hard in the country now. I sat down. And we have to keep quiet. And you know, me and your mother, we are struggling. You see, she's so retired. We are the baby of girls. After the day, the boy went to his room. I said, Daddy, she pure water last year. She was not so bad. Is it not the same pure water she buy when you get it? You buy when you get it. That time they were buying pure water how much? But it's not 300. So if we decide to give him the amount we gave last year, he's not going to solve anything. And if care is not taking, if you know that two streets, 
you are not ready to cope with his demand, he will join bad. And when he join bad guys, they will offer a job because nothing is free with those guys. Those bad guys. I don't call them bad guys. They do, I call them opportunities. They, they don't look for youth that they don't have and they incorporate them and they begin to give you, oh, you must be like me before I can give you money. David Jada. They know that what they are doing is bad though, but they need people to cover up for them. And they pay the school fees of these children. They, they, they pay their school fees of their fellow children. They make it up for them what their parents couldn't do. So you think such a child will not do what? Will not join bad gang. Surely he will join. If it is female girl child, female girl child will join. When she sees a boy giving her extra 10,000, she must sleep with that person. And if there is an unwanted pregnancy, I know my baby, I know dog, I know no dog. Which mother did she? Did she resemble? Why you didn't take care of your girl child? She must go out to look for meat because she must look it. Peer group pressure. Influences of advertisement. As they are now, they can Google where they are going to buy the drugs and they are going to bring it to their doorsteps. So we should know all these kind of things. We should be careful. As I'm talking to them, I'm talking to we parents. Internet facilities everywhere. So what is wrong? Any chemical substance, the drug that came here we are after is any chemical substance. Which when taken into the body affects the mood, the behavior, the mood, your behavior, and your physical body. Anytime you take the drugs, it affects your behavior, your mood. And your physical that is what we are talking about. And what is drug abuse? Drug abuse is when you use any particular drug, whether medically prescribed or not, when you abuse it, when you misuse it. You misuse it, we are have time. Misuse is different from abuse. When you are supposed to use three times and you start using eight times, you are misusing it. Abuse is when it is illegal, it is illegal, prohibited, it's banned. Why must you go and keep cannabis? Remove your trousers, the hem of your trouser, put it there and sew the trouser back. Why? Because you know it's in like Can you can you have one can't it go one two is a chocolate cover cover that's cover? And do you know that officers are trained? And what are the kind of drugs I'm talking about this morning? Or this afternoon to work? I'm talking about drugs that are illegal. And the early after them. We're talking about stimulants. Stimulants. This kind of drug stimulates the central nervous system. It stimulates the brain. It makes you to feel high. It makes you to feel high. It makes you to feel that you want to go five rounds with a girl. Actually, go five rounds. You want, you want to talk boldly to a girl. You just want to feel high so that anybody can respect you, can bow down, so that you can do the unusual, the impossible. I was in the salon and a boy ran inside. Two days ago,
He said, Mommy, are you sure? Yeah. He doesn't know I work with tenants. Send the will pick you. He said, hey, let me use it for that one hour. I will remove it. And he went away with it because he just wanted to feel fear. So, and under it we have a, a lot of it. And I'm just quickly going to talk about it. You know it. We have a stimulant like tobacco. Cigarette can stimulate. Aqua can do this, the work. Cocaine, amphetamines, metamphetamine, dexedrine, ritalin, and so on and so forth. Any drug you take that makes you feel high comes under this. And when the youth use this kind of particular drugs, for example, one of the universities that was introduced, university students that brought for rehab, my rehab center, we use the uh, uh, not tramadol, uh, scoochie, scoochie and uh, name it now, don't mind me. Colorado. Uh, scoochie and uh, there's this bad one that this girl used to kill that uh, director. Colorado. Oh. Scoochie and uh, I forgot him now. I will remember. So, <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> this guy, this guy, you know, Colorado is a mixture of uh, uh, eggs, tramadol, and some other drugs. And after he had used it, too, after he used the drug, he wanted to play. The, the, the boy is a student, he's a youth, too. He wanted to play. He started praying from morning, ah, afternoon, ah, evening. Ah. So ah, the men, they went out, they came and they met him praying. They said, ah, we will have to delay. So when they went to call the, the school authority, they took him to the hospital. It was until he was treated before he came down. He prayed for almost eight hours. Thank God that it was this. So when I, they now brought him to me, they now brought him to me. He already was for me. And he said, Mommy, I'm sorry. I just want to feel high new. I just want to belong to me. I didn't know that this thing I will react to it. I said, Thank God you reacted to it. So it will make you to stop. So they go for. Another one we call the presence. Whenever they use the drug that breaks them, makes them to be high, normally they have to run for the one that will do what? That will bring them down. And very, very bad. Under this, we have codeine, heroin, methadone, methadone, cough syrups. We have cannabis too. Cannabis is Either it go, it could be stimulant, sometimes it stimulates, makes one to fear, sometimes it makes some to calm down. There are two ways. If you see some students that are, yeah, children that are smoking, they might be quiet, and you won't know that they are smoking. But the ones that are not quiet, that are bullies, better you have them so that you better detect out all time. But the ones that are calm, you might not know until much havoc is done. So we have a lot of other ones, we call them uh, designer drugs. Where are they designer drugs? Is the way they design them. We have something like metamorphine. We have something like metcatinol. We have uh, phenethylene. We have uh, ephedrine and pseudoephedrine. They are, you know the way they are captured, the way they are. We call them designer drugs. And they are synthetic. And we have another one, anabolic steroids. You know that it's very common among the sportsmen and women. Just because they just want to build their body. It's very common among youth now, especially male. 
I want them manchu. I want them big. I don't know where I get this money at that. See, it's not getting a big one. I don't know. I get a problem. I don't know why you are carrying some things. That's why I've never seen people with their projects here. So it's good sometimes to be, you know, agile, but not at the detriment of using drugs to build your muscle. Now, we have some other drugs. And early I know after them, they are the first one I'm supposed to talk about. I just remember now. I always forget to talk about them. We call them socially accepted drugs, gateway drugs. They are the gateway for hard drugs that I mentioned earlier. Another this we have alcohol, we have cigarettes, we have tabac, we have coffee, we have cola nuts. Some youth they use them also to get high, especially the secondary school students. And we have other ones, solvents. Solvents, other solvents, we have glue, rubber solution, we have dye, and um, correction food. We have correction food, we have rubber solution, we have dye, petrol, fuel, I mean kerosene. They inhale it. They soak them and they inhale it. We know. Then we have non conventional drugs. These drugs are not under international control. They may be controlled locally and NDLA control them too because we know they have what they are doing. Under this, we have a lizard dog. We have pit latrine gas. You see, it's going to where there is pit. Opening the pit, inhaling the gas. We have spirit. Spirit, we use in cleaning. Rubber solution, nail polish cleaner, purple leaf and seed, both dry, dead smoke. Moringa leaf, gas powder, gun powder, scoochy, monkey tail, shiny, Colorado, gutter water, coating diet, and coating tomato coca juice mixed together. We have carbonate soft drink with top tone. We have petrol, glue, and like a cassava cassava leaf, bleach. And carbonate drink. Now there are stages of these drugs I've mentioned. So many. You know, these drugs vary according to locality and communities that we are. We have some other local ones like a Jedi. We have Jedi. All this Opine. They will come. Huh? And they share it now. They use it. I call them who and I know for many more names. I want to know them. I am even proud that you know them. Why I'm proud that you know them? That this to be called one, this to be called two. Now the time and then they pick you now, sir. And then the day I'm not on court, I said the day I'm coming down here, not on court. I'm not going to meet them. There are. Before I talk about the consequences, let me tell you about the stage. The first stage of these drugs are experimentation stage. Most times when you experiment with it and it goes along with their body system, they continue. Like that boy now that smoked, uh, that used uh, Colorado and started praying, he realized that he, uh, I cannot cope, he stopped. When somebody started praying for eight hours, now stop. It's stop. You can have to go to the you can have to go to the hospital, you can have to go to the hospital, you can have to go to the hospital. How many hours? How many hours? Experimentation state is a state that you see your friend doing it because of some problems, issues. You want to experiment so that you can escape those things. And when it goes along with your system, they continue. But if they don't, it doesn't go along with their system, they discontinue. 
From this now, they move to another stage. Occasional stage. Occasional stage is when you are with your friends. Or you feel like doing it. I feel good. Yes. Na, 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 na. I feel good. Every time you feel pulling out with uh, apple. Mm -hmm. Or monkey tail. Mm -hmm. Feel cool. Then from here, you move to regular stage. Regular stage now, you depend on the drug to overcome your problem. And that's where the youth are making serious mistakes. You don't use problem to solve problem. Tell your friends, say don't use problem. Don't use problem. Don't use future. Don't use When you come to our daddy's here, that I run, that the money problem for our parents, me want to help me, sir. And it's not that I don't want to be responsible. Can you kindly let me talk to them? Or even if I thought they talk to them and they are still not responsible, and daddy decide to invest into your life, you just pull off in Mumogoli. It's not that you go and buy. You are, you were invest the 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 the. The nice man, the good man, the daddy invested into your life because he wants to bring the best to help you to actualize your dreams, not to go and do drugs. And at this junction, they move on to the last stage, addiction stage. The last stage is a terrible stage where their lives, their dreams, their goals center on drugs. They can't be anything except they use drugs. Consequences of drug abuse, at this time is where they bring them for treatment. Treatment is Google. If you know you are into alcoholism, if you know you are into scuchi, ah, you need treatment to treatment. And all be that, you need somebody like me, like professionals that you can talk to to overcome. Like uh, my brother was telling me something. We call it brief intervention. When we were coming, he told me something I didn't know that have impacted the lives of those students. He said, when they came out, they went to a place, they came to pull up, they said, ah, what that woman said is good. Why must we be doing something and be hiding, and be hiding, and be hiding? What you are doing, you cannot even bring it out to do. So what is the purpose of doing it? That you will doing it and your heart will be doing bing, bing, bing. It's better we quit, so we call it brief intervention. It's very good. I'm going to leave my phone, but don't trouble me. You're not married, you know. Don't be calling me all the times. Anything, 10 o'clock, don't call. You call me and you tell me your problem. Open up. We discuss on the phone, on WhatsApp call. I'll tell you the way out. If you have a friend, you need to leave that friend. If you don't leave that friend, you can't stop doing drugs. If you are taking a particular route to work, and you know that they are doing drugs there, if you don't change that route, we keep on falling back. You have to change your orientation, your cognition, you have to change it. That nothing good comes out when you abuse drugs. Only destruction and only limitation a possibility for you to actualize that dream. Okay, consequences of drug abuse, physical, we have brain damage. The more you smoke, the more you use tramadol, the more you use kuchi, the more you use opai, the more you use geli, the more you use all of them, you are damaging your brain. Nervous breakdown, regular heart speed, high blood pressure, hepatitis, HIV, because of the use of uh, sharing of syringes, and it will lead to premature death. Why premature death? Why did a three, 300 levels medical student of university in Oshu State uh, 
died because she used 300 milligrams of Tramadol. She used 300 and she died in her sleep, premature death. Physiological consequences, sleeplessness, and that is why they are restless. Anxiety, hallucination, same thing, other way around. So you want to go like this, you go like this. People will be talking like this, you will be talking like this. Your own risk does not even show there's anything in the brain. Delusion, craving desire, you're always craving depression. And that is why many of them commit suicide. When you use drugs, it causes depression. Why is it that you are, instead of you, to be happy? To be said, what to be happy? It just be happy for some particular hours, three, four hours, and you go back again. Have you ever thought of it? When the drug wears out, why do you go back to your original self again? Psychosis, social loss of job, family disintegration, expulsion, destitution, kidnapping, prostitution, stealing, all sorts of atrocities, suicidal thoughts. Harm, robbery, accidents, legal uh, aspect, prosecution, and jail time. Now, I want to talk to you. Finally, how can you help yourself? Let me tell you something. Have you thought about the person that uh, this boy, the I don't, I can't remember the name again, but I know it's Jay. Yes, sir. My message, how many times? Nine hundred and fifty. Nine hundred and ninety-nine before he became an achiever. What about this, this verse? The man. How many times? One thing about life is that you have to keep on trying. I keep on trying. I keep on trying until you make it. Do you believe in that? Sure. If you don't believe in that, sir, sir, was it rosy for you? No. Was it rosy for you, sir? To be who you are today? Was it rosy for you? Was it rosy for you? Okay, I'm going to ask a question, sir. Were your parents there for you? They did their best. We are going. Who actually did the best? It's yourself. You know why? If you believe you have a future, if you believe you have a goal, if you believe you have dreams, she be me more rayon or be rain pity me to get PhD older. This is school, 1978. 78 I was in Jesus, I was in form three. More than you prefer that day. Let me just tell you, it was not easy to that bear. Let me tell you, you this woman you have seen have gone through a lot of things. I told somebody, I, I do tell people, youth, to encourage you. Don't you think that I could be the day we suffered? I wrote my wife three times. I wrote GC two times. I didn't give up. All the time I was writing, my junior ones, they were already in the university. But by the grace of God upon my life, because I returned the glory back to God. I'm the only doctor in the house. You. you have to encourage yourself. Don't let anybody encourage you. Don't believe in drugs. Believe in what? Believe in yourself. Now, I want to say something. Where I'm stopping, please. Sir, they need your help. We need to build Building restlessness of young people to cope with the pressures. 
and challenges the faith is why we are gathering here. Strengthen you inwardly, outwardly. Whatever you dream that you are not seeing it, getting out fine, don't lose hope. What do I say? Keep on trying. Let them laugh at you. Okay, those people that laughed at you years ago that I was in Peter, can they laugh at me today? No. I saw one of them, I was in a river lecture in a JPK University, and they saw my picture on the podium. The, the person I saw, Dr. Yetunde, but your foie is where she's confused. But she saw my face and they see a little bit of resemblance. She can shake to the only bit in the baby. She was sitting, you know, contemplating whether I was the one or not. But immediately I came and she screamed, say yes to me. I said, yes, I'm the doctor. I graduated 14 years ago. Say, my God. From University of Ibadan, clinical psychology. And my PhD of clinical psychology. And when I had my PhD of clinical psychology, I was education student. I had to change. I had my master's in NAD. Master's in I had to change from education to social science. And I didn't have the brain. I had to look for somebody, a master order that was teaching me pain. And I finished. And I'm enjoying the good money. Whatever you become in life, you are the first to achieve, to enjoy it. I enjoy my money. If my husband dropped me to and says, sit down, only movie can't be here, the bag is now, book on the phone, the TV is free, and my bag is on, I talk with them. And he will share that was if you are not with me, book of me, she will see. Bimi she le jao, si ma wè lori siyani, si ma ma ronu, do kwa anon li sa chwa kwi, kalo ba mi she on lon kani, e ni mo koko ge pateka. Of the fruitfulness. And when we get to somewhere, when I'm there with my own man, I say, doctor of what's that? I get my son sa wo, I get my son doctor yo, yo ki pe ko yi si gao, I get a ma wo, I'm boasting, not in myself, but the grace that God has given to me to challenge you. She got a woman talking to you that I feel, but then she can't be there in the car. Jam in the car. In the car. I want my eighteen year old, I'm not going to be long term. Then I mean, all the time, come about me, I'm not going to be a chance for them. No, no, my kid, that is. That gets If I can challenge you, finally, you need to explore positive attitudes. Explore. You can explore through them. Through them. Children, learn new things. Learn how to be overcomers. Learn how to forge forward. Whether you are a Muslim or you are a Christian, you must learn to be at the top. Don't let anybody relegate you to the floor. Don't relegate yourself. Don't let any father or your mother. Even if they say, I can, I say, I will make it. If I have something back in the teacher, I'm going to learn here in the teacher's coming. The agency has been charged with the dual responsibility of reducing the supply of and demand of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. The drug dealers will continue to find ways to meet their selfishness through you. You are the only one to say no to drug abuse. Thank you.
when you are noticing act of all this uh, abuse. Yes, sir. Apart from talking to the fellow involved. Yes, sir. That could give a lasting approach of uh, uh, moderation. The behavior. Yes, thank you. Yes, sir. Treatment works, sir. <clears throat> we do encourage parents that you notice something like that. The first thing you need is listening ears. And that is why the United Nations a few years ago came up with these two scientific words. Listen first. When you listen first to the abuser, you'll be able to understand deep what the problem is. Sir, so, truthfulness is good. And that is why I said it from the beginning that without pain, there is no gain. It is we that we didn't educate our children, especially the children of these 70s, 80s, that we went through hard way. But unfortunately, we have uh, really spoiled them. And they have believed that what we are giving to them is the best. We cost it. Ah, they can't jail to repay a jail. But unfortunately, the way they are misusing this kind of opportunity is what we need to correct. Truthfulness is in the fact that what we're not able to achieve, we want you to achieve it. In your mind, you are coming on to in your learning, not at the detriment of now putting we parents into problems. Giving you or yourself, giving you everything you need does not mean I'm a fool. I'm trying to sacrifice, is the truth. Sir, we have realized something about this youth, sir. To buy my arrow, maybe earning the money is the time the child listens to you. Use, make use of that time. If it has night, make use of that time. But wrong communication sometimes worsens the situation. So when you have a book on the book, you can come. You can come back down. 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 You are very useless. You are very stupid. You will slap you. We should not stigmatize them. I said it from the beginning that there are risk factors. It could be some emotional problem. You just have to encourage I know you don't like it. I know something prompted you to do this. Do you know out of this ugly situation, you can still bring the best out of it? You can still prove to people that even though they know you are bad, you are not that bad. Your own child you are talking to. Do you know? One day, I was talking to my son. He had just finished secondary school. He said, Mommy, you're very stupid. Eh? I said, Why? I said, 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 I when I go to work, I ask my friend, I say, do you know my son says I'm stupid? He said, maybe you are too stupid. Wow. Okay, are you crazy? He said, see that, my friend. What did you do? And I said, he said, actually, that is stupid. <laughs> Give me children of our days. They are very, very open-minded. It's the way they see something, they will see it. And he didn't see it for what you or to disrespect you. He's just saying it to let you know this is how you are. And your shame is something about the other people. You're killing her with your own idiocy. 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 You're you know, when I went home and I, I, called, I called him, I said, why did you say I'm stupid? He said, Mom, 
When you left, I didn't react. I knew I've done something wrong. I'm sorry. He knelt down with his two nails. And he's six feet, more than six feet. He said, Mommy, I'm sorry. I've not had the rest to go. I've not had the rest to go. I didn't know what you are planning for me or since you kept quiet and you left. Can you see the approach? Do you know that approach brought a positive change? Rather, if I'm taking a I mean, into, I mean, into my friends to be flogged, mm. would have made him to be what? To be hunted. So there are, you know, some things we need to really learn. I want to see why my yard was still a girl. We need to really calm down and understand them. If I see all of you are a pastor, if you pastor, my man, a lot of people. she will be. So one of my team 
ไอ้ตัวคือตัวลูกของโน้ตในตัวว่านะว่าก็ตัวมันร้องเองมันมาเป็นว่าเป็นของเป็นของเป็นของเป็นของก็ตัวมันเป็นว่าตัวเราเราทำสิ่งสุดที่มาเจอเลยตัวนี้ฟังที่มีสุดอย่าฟังคนที่อยู่ในสายเดียวสุดอย่าเราเดินในสายดีกันว่าตัวสิ่งสัมผัสอะไร for even if you want to want to end the I might not have paid for your treatment for your food for my which is an You have to pay. Ah, it's expensive to to treat a drug addict, and that's why we have junkies on the road because their parents cannot afford to treat them. But your no more than can afford. At least, one man can afford it. Maybe two million. Martin, for how much? It's very expensive. Please don't delve into it if you don't have the money or your family don't have the money. That you don't become a joke. Thank you. Thank you. The last question. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. And I, I have two two scenarios that I want to I want you to just check like. I work in an institution. There was a day a student was walking across my department. The way he greeted me, I just answered him. He stood, he didn't move. I looked back, I saw him, I said, any problem? I said, I said go in, go and see the secretary. I went to, 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 to the mosque. I came back and I still made that guy standing in front of the secretary. <laughs> and now I asked the secretary, <laughs> what is this boy doing here? <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Conference, the man said, 
he will call the doctor. At the end of the day, they end up taking the boy to church. Instead of them taking him to where they will treat him. That is why I'm doing most parents. Either there is no closure or monitoring of their world. Most things that happen to these youths are not spiritual intention. No, sir. They are not spiritual. But people go back and say, so, I say, so, I say, so, I say, so. Woman was just thinking, pay step more men. Long for pay spiritual attack. The boy was in 300 level. Pay first class student. What did they get? They don't pay you. You don't want to say. Oh, give me this. Pay is not spiritual. Pay, then this boy is on drug. That is first one. Another case. Elaine. The party is to buy daily a row for the top. Basically, I was sweating. I was I was sweating. I I I What can how can they treat that because the boy is brilliant? Sir, you know, you know one thing now in uh, NDLA we have a drug kit. Drug kit test. Shall I want to supply one shame? I supply it from buy any color she test you. Shall we come back she test for you that you are using drugs? Every drug that you are using, it covers it, it will show. Tomorrow she test and we have it and we do it. Tomorrow show, to repair cocaine, to move, to ruin. She, we have to pay a man guy to she. Now one thing is that if you really want to prove them wrong, you must always do drug test. Test them, bend down, bend down. Then they will reach it. Hospital is waiting, and then they reach it. Because you rent any job before. So we and they don't even pay to us, they pay directly. Well, they can do in your office. Yes, so we do it in our we do it in the office now. If you, what we introduce now is that to schools, private universities are the ones doing it. You see private universities, if they give you admission, they'll tell you to go to any They won't ask you to go to to us to become as we took can, you can bribe them and they will <laughs> But they know you come to end the you know, my back, you should be you know, the bread. You know, the bread. You tell you about she, you know, my back. So that is it. It's only drug kit test that you can use to convince them. If you don't do it, they won't believe. And by the way, she drug kit test, very good results. Ah, positive, positive, positive. Talo one she. You know, for me, Tala, me, for get positive. Sherry, the other one, sir. The other one you were talking about. There's nothing one can do that to be encouraging them. You know, I said something about addiction. All the tools, they have gotten to the last stage, addiction. It's easy and easier to treat experimentation uh, user occasionally. But when it comes to the two last, now I think God no. It's part of the sin of his craving. Craving. He's craving. And even after treatment, they relapse. And my grandma sort of not to be new. Just 
She was like, "Be on my side, I'm going to treat. I'm going to sign you. I'm going to join. After treatment, you will be born. You will be born. Because this thing we're talking about is brain. His brain, you know, that coordinates every part of what the body. If you have affected the brain, what do you want me to do? Short my operation with the brain. You know? So possibly, the only thing we can do is you use your drug treatment and we do therapy. And where therapy comes in is where spiritualism comes in. I'm not buying a Muslim and become a father. I'm not buying a Christian and become a pastor. As you are going through treatment, medical treatment, psychotherapy treatment, we have to go through spiritual treatment. It helps too. It helps. Sherry stayed here the food and she was not about me. I'm eating my bag with a full treatment. I feel a feet to my bed over it. Contemplate at the church. You know, when you see my brother, my colleague said, I spoke with, and he said, she, He will not dare me to leave. Sherry, I want to man decide that the children, they are the best. They are even better than those people that are that, that in the hospital. Some of them will decide like this oh, that they will not go again. Like some might be here now and be here. And just go to his bed and say, Ah, your woman, and then you want change from the name. And what a man decides from our hello, my own work to, to treatment. Hey, see the doctor. Ah, ah. And you need to put that out to a no millions here, no until that our fear. So God will help us. It's not easy. Oh. The last addiction stage is no going in. Don't try it. Thank you, Mom. The round of applause for the next time. I believe we are all every one of us to put in practice one or two things that uh, we have learned from our experience at the, the drug, drug, drug law enforcement agency uh, 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 work and uh, the advice and the guide. Uh, so, I'll call on uh, Dr. Kazin Oyedeji to give a vote of thanks for our officers at the Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency who has come to invite us some knowledge this afternoon on this main event of our Pai Union, the chapter, Arizona chapter of Brothers Across Nigeria. Uh, please, uh, Dr. Kazim Mugibeji. Thank you so much. Please, let's appreciate NDM. Madam, without missing a word. You know, you said you are, you are traveling. I said, let's give this man 20 minutes so that she can go. And you end up spending almost an hour. An hour plus. That is massive. I didn't know that it's up to an hour plus. I was just thinking, ah, man, I'm going to travel. I want to thank you and your officer on behalf of members of this local organization. Thank you. We appreciate you. We appreciate your relationship. We are partners in progress and will continue to be partners in progress. We hope that when next you come on your organization, you will come and do justice for us. On behalf of the entire group and their 
help us here we want to say thank you so much. The first one uh, is the people at the high table. Uh, just like the says a group uh, photograph. The group photograph. Uh, please let uh, Dr. Olasu come here. Let me tell you that Mr. Nero Daniel, Mr. Shino Kende, Mr. Kazim from uh, Open States, and uh, Mr. Uche from uh, Yoste Jeep and Yama. Yeah, better. Uh, 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 u